I am not a developer and I just built a web app from scratch. I didn't use any tools, any templates, any no code stuff, any SaaS, nothing. Just me and my good developer friend, GPT-4. Okay, so all cards on the table. I know a little HTML and CSS. It's been years since I've written any of it by hand. And I certainly don't know any JavaScript. Tried once, couldn't cut it. Now, frankly, I'm too old to learn JavaScript because I believe there is a line, much like the line when it's okay to ride a Razor scooter and when it's not, there's a line where you're just too old to learn JavaScript. And thankfully, I have a little friend, GPT-4, to help me out. First, let's take a look at what I built. For me, this one's personal. It's called Do Tab. It's a new tab to-do list with a minimal aesthetic. And for me, I just needed something to actually help me keep track of stuff. I've tried putting things in Notion. I've put them in Reminders. I've put them in Notes. I've put them in Microsoft OneNote. I've tried using planners and notebooks and nothing ever sticks. And I have a theory as to why. It's because it's always out of sight, out of mind at some point. At some point, I close the app. I close the notebook. But a new tab, you can't get rid of it. Or if you're gonna go do something stupid and distracting on the internet, you're confronted with, oh yeah, I have those things to do. So do tab is my solution for that. You can also get it free on the Chrome Web Store. So let's go through this at a high level. Where did I start? I started in Figma, designed out the UI of the app itself. Then I went to ChatGPT and I said, hey, give me code for a web app using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Here's a general description of the app. Here's a little bit more about the design and the aesthetic. And here are more detailed descriptions of each thing that is going to be on the page and how it's supposed to work more in depth than what I gave in the general description. I'm not gonna read this whole thing to you. I put it down in the description though, if that is what you're into. Oh, and by the way, Helpful tip when you're dealing with GPT giving you code, ask it to wait until you say next for each different code type because it'll wind up giving you two chunks of code and then partway through the third, it's gonna just stop. And then you have to ask it to continue again and it's kind of a pain. So after that, drop everything into CodePen. It's a free tool that lets you just render HTML, CSS, and JavaScript all together in one frame in one browser tab. It's great. And this is how I did it. I just went back and forth with chat GPT. And every time there was a problem, I just copied what the error was, or I described what the issue was, popped it back into GPT, and we went back and forth. I can't say that it wasn't a frustrating experience. Can't say that half the time fixing something didn't break something else, but I'm pretty sure that's just how development goes in general. So from there, I then asked ChatGPT to bundle it up as a Chrome extension. Now let's go back to live action Andy to wrap this thing up. Listen, I'm sure if you're a real developer, watching this video was something akin to scratching your eyes out or nails on a chalkboard or something to that effect. However, for me as a barely competent internet doofus, this was magical, and I know that it's magical for millions of other people who are also experiencing the same thing I am right now, which is just thinking, oh my gosh, what else can I build? I'd love to hear from you. What do you think I could have done differently as I was building this out? Because I am not an expert. I'm just sharing my process here. And I know that there's a lot of people who do a lot of coding and development with GPT-4 and also other like actual tools that are built for that, like GitHub's tool and things like that. But if you have thoughts or things that you found helpful or questions for me, drop them in the comments below. I would love to hear them. And I'm sure many, many other people would as well. So if you're still here watching, thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you again soon in another video. Take care.